Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's good to visit with you. You know what? This is my last uh, my last time uh, to talk with you in 2021, and uh, say uh, how quickly the year has gone. I just wanted to give you an update about Terry, uh, my sister. Uh, saw her last week and uh, doing really well. This week uh, is a week of rest for between chemo treatments. Uh, She's very hopeful, and she only has uh, two more remaining uh, scheduled treatments. We praise God that uh, her latest uh, scans uh, were totally clear, and everything is looking good. Uh, your prayers uh, are being answered, and your support is so greatly appreciated. On behalf of Terry and myself and all the family, we thank you uh, for your support uh, through your prayers. Today's a little bit different. I'd just like to take a time to uh, have a bit of reflection as a pastor. Uh, certainly 2021, uh, well, let's be honest, it wasn't all we had hoped it would be. In some ways, it seems like our hopes and dreams for this year just didn't get us to where we wanted to be. But then as I thought about that, as I prepared for today's video, I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm just being a bit short-sighted. And so I want to just take time uh, to share with you uh, some things that, that uh, I've reflected about. And through thinking about today, I want to give thanks and encourage you to do the same. So here's what I want to be thankful for as we close out 2021. I give thanks that the COVID vaccine became widely available and the subsequent boosters I'm thankful that while the battle lingers and cases are on the rise, we know more about this terrible virus and that there are many, many treatments available to help the sick. I'm thankful that while too many loved ones lost their lives, we have found ways, some creative ways to comfort one another, and we have shown ourselves to be resilient as we pressed on with the help of each other and especially with God's help. I'm thankful that we were able to return to in-person worship. And you know, I'm so grateful for the, the amazing ministry that our streaming team did. But I'm also so glad to once again greet everyone and to enjoy that wonderful time of fellowship uh, after the services. I am so grateful um, that we had an amazing vacation Bible school this year. I think what's really impressive, um, you know, it's not always about numbers, but we had more children this year than we did pre-pandemic. Um, I think the children were just so hungry for, for learning and fellowship with other kids. And um, I know that the staff really enjoyed uh, sharing with the children of our community. I'm so thankful that the schools returned to the classroom and uh, trying their very best to catch up from us such a difficult and disruptive previous year. I'm thankful that families are once again able to safely gather together and to be with those they love. I am so thankful that the Wesley Church had this awesome, awesome Christmas children's play. There were proud parents and family and friends uh, who gathered together. We filled the sanctuary and we heard these children share the Christmas story in only the way they can. I'm so thankful that the Christmas Eve service was live and in person, and I saw the magic glow spread throughout the sanctuary as we sang Silent Night. And I'm so thankful that as we approach 2022, I believe we have every reason to be more hopeful and for us to be able to move beyond this pandemic in the year ahead and focus more on life-enriching endeavors. Those are just some of the things that I'm thankful for, even in, in the midst of what was still a challenging year. Now, I know there's much more we could share, but what I would like you to do when you're done listening to this video is I want you to find someone to share with what you are thankful for. I want you to look back together with that person over 2021 and I want you to talk honestly about how has God redeemed your year in spite of the challenges? And answer this simple question, how has God blessed you? Let's look together for just a few moments at the words from 1 Thessalonians 1, verses 2, 3, and 4. We always give thanks to God for all of you, 
and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you. You know, as we go into 2022, I want you to know that D and I keep you in our prayers. Each meal we stop and pray together, not just asking God to bless our food, but to remember those who are in need, uh, particular need that day. And it's always interesting how God will bring folks uh, to mind that we, we need to lift up in prayer. I can't end this year without giving thanks for family and friends, for our church family, for our church leader, and for the countless number of folks who humbly serve others. Let's make it a point to remember each other with thanksgiving. Let's also remember why we have hope. For all believers, our hope is in our Lord Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who came in Bethlehem and who would ultimately journey to Calvary, who will take our fear and sin and give us hope. It is in Christ that we are one. It is in Christ that we will prevail. It is in Christ we will find victory. And finally, let's remember that we are the beloved of God, chosen by God and redeemed by his Son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. My, my friends, you are the beloved of God. He loves you. He chose you. And through his Son, he has saved you. So, my friends, let's be thankful for all that God has blessed us with in, two, in, in the year 2021. Let's be hopeful knowing that we are his beloved as we move into 2022. D and I wish each of you a blessed and a happy new year. Amen. So I have two very short and simple reminders uh, for our congregation. Um, my friends, if you haven't picked up your offering envelopes yet, um, they are available in the lobby. The next time you're uh, in the building, please uh, do stop there and uh, pick up your offering set. And uh, also, um, your help is needed as we'll be putting away our Christmas decorations on Tuesday, January 4th, starting at 9.30 a.m. Again, putting away our Christmas decorations Tuesday, January 4th at 9.30 a.m. Always, my friends, more hands makes easier work. Well, let's close this time with a word of prayer. And uh, again, I have always enjoyed uh, this time together with you each week. And I pray that uh, there are things that I share with you that not only get you thinking, but uh, help lift your spirits as you work through your week. Let us pray. Loving God, from the depth of my heart, I thank you for all that you have done for us this year. I want to thank you for how you redeemed many difficult times and reassured us that you were with us and you would take care of us. As we move into 2022, help us remember we are your beloved and that our hope is grounded in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We ask this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.